Hello guys and welcome back to the channel My name is Retro Pepega from Pepega United And today we gonna see my monster deck I guess Because as you know I really like to play with burn deck which have a little bit of monster So yeah this one is my pure monster deck Well, well I, I just can't say pure monster deck but your archetype deck and that's it uh, blue eyes deck not this eyes because I just realized that in 2022 relinquish is sucked actually sucked I lose like a lot of game using this deck okay so yeah do not be relinquish on your main account and now we're gonna talk about our main guest today the blue eyes or I'm a dragon the beautiful card that always hard to use well as you can see it's quite a pp deck you know because uh, it's yeah not so good I still can police it maybe becoming like something meta using like no adding number 38 or maybe adding Dracluvion and then uh, some Boomerang Dragon if I want to but unfortunately I really don't like that kind of play what I really want to play is a pure blue eyes monster you know so yeah as you can see in here we have the big guy blue eyes white dragon it's on a 3k normal beat stick and uh, Let's just say this is our ga gasoline, so this engine can run. Without this card, well, you will have nothing, nothing to play. And then next, Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Well, this card is only for, you know, if I'm desperate, uh, like, oh shit, I need to play some monster, so I didn't get any direct attack, you know, you know, just summon this card on attack position and when your enemy attack this card quick effect when a card effect is activated that targeted this card quick effect you can special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your hand deck or graveyard when this card is targeted for an attack you can negate the attack and if you do change the battle position of this card then special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your hand deck or graveyard you can only use this effect once per turn yeah so it's kind of kind of good protection in my opinion only and i only use it if i really need to put something on my board so i didn't get 40 k or something okay? and next we have the white stone of the ancients well <coughs> this card is just almost the same you know but because i actually really using the tuner the synchro summon in this card so yeah this two tuner is only for damage blocking for me but when this card is destroyed that's what i really like okay or when this card is sent to the graveyard because it has two effects okay the first effect at the end phase or yeah at the end phase you can special summon two ice red dragon from your um deck i guess uh, yeah from your deck blue eyes monster okay not only blue eyes white dragon any blue eyes maybe i think you can summon i don't know about blue eyes automatic but a lot of people summoning a lot something like that right? let me check okay not some summoning a beast dragon they're gonna summon spirit of white that's what they do usually but for me i'm just gonna summon like a uh, pure vanilla blue eyes or maybe edit edit on my hand and that's the first effect okay summoning any blue eyes monster from your deck and the second effect you can banish this card on your on your turn on your main phase you can banish this card and then you can add i think blue eyes monster in my, in my graveyard so maybe something like after you use Chaos for for polymerization, and that, so you can bring back your blue eyes in the graveyard to the to your hand, so you can use it again. So like that, it's pretty simple. And next we have 
ghost ogre and ash blossom plus nibiru usually is only my hand trap that i recently recently add to this deck before nibiru ghost ogre and ash i use three copy of kaiba man yep straight up this guy kaiba man <laughs> And yeah, it just, you know, to quick summon something, you know, 3k bit stick, no biggest, yeah. And then next we have my view of the 10,000 fish, the 10,000 hand, sorry. Uh, yeah, this is one of the searcher for my either it's gonna be Blue, Blue S Chaos Max Dragon, Advanced Ritual Art, or Chaos Form. But usually well, when I play this card, I already use, I already have Blue Scales Max Dragon in my hand So what I'm gonna search, it's gonna be Advanced Ritual or Only like that, so yeah, you can just special summon You know, your Blue Scales Max Dragon Just like that, simple And then next we have Alternative White Dragon As you know, this card, it's if you play blue eyes, this card is very easy to summon, okay? And it has strong effect which can destroy your opponent monster But when it's active, you can't attack It's like that simple, but yeah, it's strong, okay? Uh, you know And this card is treated as blue eyes white dragon when it's on field on, or, on, or when in graveyard so you can use the weapon of ancient to bring back US alternative white dragon from your graveyard to your hand. It's actually very good and simple. And next we have Nibiru, another hand trap. It's very good to fight something like Synchro deck. And I really like it. Next we have Chaos Max Dragon. The main star of this deck, the damage dealer of this deck, okay? Because uh, this card has the effect you can ritual summon this card with chaos from and must be ritual summon your opponent cannot target this card with card effect also it cannot be destroyed by opponent card effect if it's attack card a, a given position card it's inflict double piercing damage so if you attack something I don't know what kind of monster have zero defense yeah boom Auto win, easy peasy win, just like that. It's a, our main pit stick, and then of course Raigeki or board cleaner. Next is polymerization, either for summoning Blue Eyes Twin First Dragon or Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. But I am very rarely using Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate White Dragon, and I'm gonna explain it why. After that, we have Monster Reborn. Yeah, just you know. Maybe stealing some your opponent monster, or maybe just bringing back, I don't know, blue eyes or blue eyes alternative. Yeah, because let, let me give you some play, okay? For example, you have blue eyes alternative on the field, you have polymerization and blue eyes with dragon in your hand. What you can do is you can active the effect of blue eyes, blue eyes alternative white dragon to pop one of your opponent monster and then you can use polymerization to special summon blue eyes twin first dragon and you can use your monster reborn to special summon your blue eyes alternative white dragon from the graveyard use the effect to pop another monster and then you can attack using your blue eyes twin first dragon so yeah it's actually just gonna give you more monster and that's why uh, I think if I'm gonna play any deck, okay, I'm gonna absolutely add Monster Reborn because, well, it's just broken, I guess. That's why it's limited. And then next we have the Melody of Awakening Dragon. Well, this card is, you know, just for searcher. You know, and usually what people do, or what I do, is just gonna search Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon and Blue Eyes White Dragon and then by maybe removing I don't know man Maiden with the Eyes of Blue or the Weapon of Ancient or even something like True Light you know I'm just gonna discard one of these and then next what we have in here is Bingo Machine Go 
Dingo Machine Go is another searcher for this card, another support for this archetype, okay? Plus, Revolt three card from your deck that it's meet at least one of the criteria listed below. Your opponent randomly pick one for you to add to your hand and you shuffle the rest into your deck. You can only active this card one per, one per turn. So you can find any blue eyes monster or spell or trap that has that speci specifically lists the card blue eyes red dragon or blue eyes ultimate dragon except bingo machine go itself. So yeah, you can just maybe add I don't know, maybe all chaos mech alternative normal blue eyes red dragon or even chaos form to your hand and that's why i really like this card because it's a good search but unfortunately it's only once per turn that's what's unfortunate about it and we have our next board cleaner lightning storm and after that advanced ritual art and yeah i only put one in here because I think one is more than enough. The other is gonna be chaos form. Well, as you can see, as friends ritual art, everyone should know about this card. This card is used to ri ritual summon any one ritual monster. You must also send normal monster from your deck to the graveyard whose total level equal to the level of the ritual monster. So because the level of normal blue eyes red dragon it's a normal monster it's same as blue as chaos max dragon this card it's very good to cheat out blue as chaos max dragon or to summon it okay it's very easy to use and after that you're just gonna have 4k pit stick that can't be destroyed by party back and 4k i mean it's a high number, it's a very high number. You need maybe something like Grand Maju with a lot of a lot of card pennies or even maybe access code talker that only can destroy this card, okay? And then next some generic another generic card like MST to destroy any spell or trap on the field, after that mirror force to another generic trap to destroy all my opponent monster in attack position and finally the double edged sword of this deck true life this card is so powerful and suck at the same time okay because when this card active your opponent cannot target blue eyes sweat dragon in your monster zone with card effect if this card face up is sent up to the, from the spell or and trap zone to the graveyard destroy all monster you control even if you have chaos mech okay on your field and then some your op your opponent just destroy destroy it using using i don't know mst or anything destroy this true light then boom everything gonna everything just poof disappear destroy and the and the true light effect is you can special summon one blue eyes white dragon either from your hand or, or your, from your graveyard and or set one spell or threat directly from your deck that's that specifically lists blue eyes white dragon in its deck with a different name from the card in your control in your graveyard so uh, the usual way i play this is if okay if i haven't active any bingo machine go what i do is i set this card where and when my enemy in face i active this card and then search for bingo machine go and if i need two two card okay two specific card on my main face i'm just gonna active true light and then add another bingo machine go on the field so on next turn i'm gonna i will be able to use that bingo machine go just like that and then let's move to the extra deck we have blue eyes twin first dragon uh, yeah this card is actually one of my favorite in this deck because this card has effect um, it cannot be destroyed by battle this card can make up to two attack on monster during each battle phase 
at the end of the damage day step when this card attack an opponent monster but the opponent monster was not destroyed by the battle you can banish that monster that opponent monster so yeah you you fighting something like i don't know time lord you can just banish it goodbye just like that simple <coughs> and then next we have neo blue eyes ultimate dragon at the end with effect and it's actually hard to bring out because it required three blue eyes white dragon and the effect is at the end of the next step if this the only phase up for the control and this using summon card attack you can send one blue eyes using monster from your extra deck to the graveyard this card can attack again in a row you can use this effect of new blue eyes white dragon up to twice per turn so you can in total you can attack three times during either player turn when a card effect is activa activated that targets a blue eyes monster you control you can banish this card from your graveyard negate that activation and if you do destroy this card uh, for me this guy is too complicated and too hard to bring out even if you have something like a perfect hand you know like you can I don't know how you can summon three freaking blue eyes or three alternative on your field and then you can contact fusion actually this two is actually a contact fusion you don't really need something like polymerization but yeah I still bring polymerization if some shit happen like one I have normal blue eyes on my hand and I have alternate on my field that's when I use my polymerization Okay, next we have Azure Eyes Silver Dragon. Uh, this card is actually kind of wacky, you know, kind of nuts because to summon this card you only need one tuner monster and one non-tuner monster, and that one non-tuner tuner monster usually is gonna be blue eyes white dragon. And if this card is special summon until the end of the next turn, neither player can target dragon monster. So yeah, they they can't using any target on me and that's why it's one of the best protection you could have in this deck i guess in this archetype and then during your standby phase you can target one normal monster in your graveyard aka blue as white dragon to special summon it just like that and then next what we have is uh, here is blue as spirit dragon another card that i i very rarely use what it needs is only one tuner and plus one non-tuner two ice monster so you can use alternative you can use chaos max to switch to summon plus spirit dragon the other player can special summon two or more monster at the same time so yeah it's like a plot gate for your opponent okay so if you want to go first you need to make sure how to bring this card how to bring this card out okay and then because it's a actually good plot gate with uh, 3000 events so it's good once per turn when an effect card is in the graveyard is active you can quick effect you can negate it and it has another quick effect you can tribute this synchro summon this synchro summon card special summon one like dragon synchro monster from your extra deck in defense position except this card but it during the end but destroy it during the end phase of this turn so yeah so, i think that's it and i'm sorry for this stupid or lazy explanation about this deck but hey this is my blue eyes deck and feel free if you want to copy it go ahead but i really not recommend it because it's only for a casual player not a competitive it's not it's only for casual tech not a competitive tech or for co competitive player so yeah uh, and after this i'm already prepared some replay for you guys i hope you guys gonna enjoy it okay so i see you guys again i don't know maybe two days from now <laughs> from now so yeah goodbye